Before we start this video, let me just say we're going to start covering a bit more stuff from the DC Universe app, and I have to say, I've been sleeping on Titans big time. But now, my eyes are open, and if you're one of the people who were originally put off of this show for whatever reason, I urge you to give it a shot. It is an excellent show. In today's video, we want to discuss a character that's recently emerged in this universe and discuss their comic book origins and abilities. Today's video is going to cover the goodest boy of all time, Crypto the Superdog. Crypto made his first appearance in Adventure Comics number 210. Now, if you don't have a copy, don't worry, it is a bit rough to come by. It came out in 1955, which is the same year that my dad was born, and also, coincidentally, before electricity was invented. I think. I don't know. Regardless, that is the first time Crypto appeared in comics, and if you want a low-grade copy, it'll probably set you back about $1,500. If you don't have that chump change lying around, then just hang out with me and I'll be happy to give you all the info you need. Now, Crypto was a character that was invented in the golden age of comics, and because of that, he's had many different comic book origins, as most characters from that time period do. So we're actually going to cover a couple different origins. As I mentioned before, Crypto's Golden Age first appearance was in Adventure Comics 210, which featured Superboy, which was basically the adventures of Superman before he became a man, and it serves as a classic Golden Age story, primarily aimed at children. On his way to his father's store one day, Clark Kent sees a stray dog being rounded up by a dog catcher. The dog breaks out of the side of the dog catcher's car and runs off. Superboy finds that a bit odd, but doesn't have time to investigate as he needs to attend work at his father's shop. He arrives only to find that the store is being robbed, and unable to change into Superboy without alerting the robbers of his identity, he allows them to rob the place so that he can catch up with them outside. However, when he gets outside, he finds the same dog taking out the robbers. Superboy kind of finds it odd that the dog seems to have the same powers that he does? Bullet immunity, super speed, strength, and flight, he's kind of got it all. The two form an instantaneous bond and they begin playing, until Crypto leads Superboy to a rocket ship, a rocket ship that appears to be Kryptonian in origin. Superboy learns that this Kryptonian ship actually brought to Earth a dog, and we learn that Crypto was the family dog of the House of El. Jor-El was desperately racing against the impending doom of Krypton and decided to use the family dog as a test subject for his new experimental rocket. The same type of rocket would eventually be used very soon to carry away young Kal-El to Earth. We learn that that young Kal-El is quite fond of this dog, and that the dog was quite fond of him. During his experiments, Jor-El blasted the dog out into space, and subsequently the dog matures along his way to Earth. He arrived at Earth much after Kal, however, due to the fact that the rocket was blown off course, and had to wait until it got a signal from Kal-El's ship much later into Kal's teenage years. Crypto, however, doesn't know his own strength in this new world. Things that would seem normal for a dog on Earth or on Krypton suddenly became very dangerous. For example, instead of chasing cars, Crypto chases airplanes and rips the wing off of one, potentially dooming the entire plane to crash until Superboy steps in to save everybody. Crypto almost accidentally gives away Superboy's identity to Lana Lang as well, when he brings a steel girder over like a stick playing fetch. Superboy must throw it into space in order to avoid an awkward confrontation. To throw Lana off the trail, he ties his cape to Crypto's collar and makes him fly off in the distance, far enough away that Lana believes the dog is actually Superboy. However, much like a wild dog, eventually Crypto kind of runs off. Except, instead of running off in the backyards or in the woods like a normal dog would, he runs off into outer space. And for the majority of the Golden and Silver Age, Crypto was featured in various stories doing super dog things. However, in the 1970s, or Bronze Age, Superman was desperate for a revamp and a fresh coat of paint. DC brought in Julius Swartz, who had been responsible for reviving the waning popularity of Batman comics. Julian was the editor for Superman comics for 15 years, from 1971 to 1986. During the majority of that time, Crypto didn't make a whole lot of appearances. Having a superpowered dog was the exact type of thing they wanted to get away from in Superman books. However, during 1974's Action Comics 440 and 441, in the back of these issues there are two Green Arrow stories titled Little Dog Lost and Mystery of the Wandering Dog. These tell the story of an amnesiac version of Crypto wandering the streets of Star City looking for a flying man. He does assist Green Arrow in some acts of heroism and then makes his way to Metropolis. Superman and Crypto are once again united in Superman 287, which occurs in May of 1975. 
Crypto is actually shown running through Metropolis and we see he has fallen in love with another random dog. However, when Crypto sees Superman flying in the sky, his memories start to return to him. We learn that Crypto went off into the stars many years ago and ran into an alien creature on an alien world called the Mindbreaker Beast. Crypto saved the people of this planet and sent the beast hurling into space, but not before being zapped by a memory ray that scrambled his little dog brain. When Crypto sees Superman flying in the sky, trying to get Lois to a hospital, all of his memories come back to him. He helps Superman foil a robbery and attempts to make up with his dog girlfriend, but the other dog rejects him, being scared of Crypto's newly shown abilities. But you know what, Crypto? You don't need her, okay? You, you a strong, independent dog. The last origin that I'm going to cover is his more modern age origin. And this origin was featured in the story Return to Krypton from Action Comics 776 from April 2001. And this was actually the last part of a four-part story arc that saw Brainiac 13 creating a fake idolized version of Krypton that Superman helps to liberate from Zod. On this false Krypton, Superman is reunited with a version of his parents. However, unable to stay with them, he eventually returns to his world. When Superman returns to his world, that version of Crypto comes with him. Crypto does have an unwavering loyalty to Superman, like any good boy. Throughout his 90 years of comic book history, he's always been there for his master when needed. But Superman is not Crypto's current master. Eventually, Crypto is gifted to Connor Kent, aka Superboy, and he moves back to Smallville. For a time in comics, Superboy and Crypto were quite inseparable. In fact, many modern comic readers probably more closely identify their relationship than they would Superman and Crypto's. These two form an incredibly strong bond, with many people considering Superboy to be Crypto's true master. One of my own personal favorite stories involving Crypto requires you to understand the events of Infinite Crisis. During Infinite Crisis, we see Connor Kent standing up to Superboy Prime. Superboy Prime attacks Connor Kent after learning of his existence and being furious that Connor isn't the hero that this alternate Superboy believes he should be. Crypto rushes to Connor's aid, but he's hurt pretty badly. After an incredible battle featuring nearly all of the Teen Titans, Doom Patrol, and Justice Society, Superboy Prime is converted to a truly evil force. Superboy Prime is eventually imprisoned within the Speed Force by multiple flashes, but like any good villain, he soon breaks out and continues his quest of terror. Connor and him face off again at a giant tower made out of the Anti-Monitor, and when it explodes, Connor is killed in the resulting blast. This leads to one of the comics I think that all fans of Crypto should read, Superman 712. This is probably one of the most famous issues of Superman featuring Crypto, and it shows Crypto searching the world for Connor and learning of his death at the hands of Superboy. Upon learning of Connor's death, Crypto lets out a massive howl and is able to be heard nearly all around the world. He eventually retreats to the moon where he's shown with a manhole cover that he and Superboy used to use as a frisbee when playing together. It's what's known as a silent issue in that there is not much text, just pictures. It's a very powerful issue that really helps solidify Crypto's legacy as an incredible fictional companion. And that's really all I want to cover for Crypto. He is a great dog and companion and one of the most famous pets in comic history. He even leads his own superhero team called the Legion of Super Pets. So I hope you learned a lot, and if you did, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Nick with Key Issues, and remember the motto, Super Space Dogs Over Everything.